this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Luffy and the Fortress of Doom. Yes, we're still making our way through the cave of Auris here. I said last time I was going to use another sweet water just to try to get this going as fast as possible. Is this where I came from to get over here? Yeah, this is the bridge. Since I don't think that the exit is out of here, why don't I just check farther to the left over there while I'm here, I guess. Let's just do a bang. I wasn't sure if it would take out those wisp guys or not, but I figured it would help um, on Maxim's guy too. If it didn't, if he didn't take care of it, got a magic jar. Ah, that's it for that, I guess. Well then, we're going up. That doesn't do anything. How do we get to that treasure? If I had to get it from coming in from the other side... Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. I'm not gonna mess with it then. We're just gonna head on. I don't think there's probably anything in here that was gonna be that... That was gonna be that unique or that helpful. Not trying to do 100% here necessarily anyway, so let's just move on. Sweetwater is actually doing really well for that time. But yeah, we're back to here now, so I'll just move forward. I guess there is always a possibility that we can come back up and I can still get them from over here yet, so maybe I didn't miss anything yet. Try to be optimistic. Not my forte, but... Okay, yeah, this is going to be okay, I guess. I was just kind of assuming, I guess, that this would just lead me out of the cave here. Once I got over to that. I hit at least. Now I have a couple options again. That's fine. Do I head this way or do I take the lower path? I think I want to take the lower path first. Let's just drop a bang. It'll hit all of them. Doesn't 
do the most against those guys, but it's good enough. Okay. Their magic jar. Okay, my old friends. How about Bang here as well? Let's just see if it does more damage or not. I know overall it didn't seem like damn or magic was doing much against these guys, but maybe that spell will be different. Okay, well, one gone. Seem to do better. Get him. Okay, he's not running away at least. Alright, another level up for Maxim. Learn champion. Lupia leveled up as well. Good intelligence there. Learn boost. Guru leveled up, got a lot of HP. And Jaren leveled up and got quite a bit of HP again. And agility. Restores HP completely for one party member. Okay, well. And it's cheaper than using two stronger, so at this point, stronger counts for like 80, I guess. So if you're down over 160, champion is certainly better. Well, no, if you're even less than that. Fairly soon, we'll be getting to the point where I think that'll be probably a better use of magic overall. Or a more efficient use of it. Okay, yeah, this is just dead end over there. I guess I didn't even check what boost did. I'm sure. Just it seems reasonable to assume that it is something that boosts a certain statistic. Raises back or raises magic. Ah, coward. whole party partially restores HP. Now by partially, I wonder how much that means. Is it just like regular strong or stronger? If it's like stronger, but for everybody, then it's overall more efficient. But if it's just like regular strong for everybody, then it costs way too much. Okay, good. This one just comes to this treasure. X-Potion. Another sleep arrow. Not really sure what the best way to approach this one is. I guess, first of all, have her take out the blue wisp. Let's just start in on that. And I'll try to just have a guru take out the snake. say it'd be a shame if 
put a guru to sleep. But the uh, mimic ran away anyway. Start. Yeah, that could have been better. That was a pretty good round there for her. Good. Got one at least. Come on, guys. Dang it. Well, we should be able to get this one at least. So it seems like a matter of Leveling up in this cave depends on your luck with those mimic guys running away or not. And this is probably it. Okay. Oh, we got a little town right over here. Is that just ours already? Yes, it is. Let's just stay at the end, first of all. Hello. The rooms are small, but you can relax. It's 50 gold pieces a night. Don't care how big it is, cheaper's better to me. It has all the shops here, I guess. I see you managed to get through the cave. You must be excellent warriors. Well, yeah, I suppose, maybe. Hate to brag, but... Yes, we will continue. house with an old couple over here. Professor Rail is here, but he's at the Tower of Grief right now. Interesting man. You should meet him. The tower is west of the village. You can get there through a small cave. Another cave. Great. The ring-shaped island to the west was created when Doom Island fell. A real creepy looking place. Okay, got a high magic. Yeah, before I check out the shops. Ah. Oh, Luffy wants to look at the flowers, I suppose. Whoa, beautiful. Maxim, look at this flower. I'm sure he cares a lot. Rafia? Yes, amazing. So many of them, and they're in bloom. Hey, Maxim. Is this flower special? It seems to be. Wonderful. Really beautiful. Olivia seems so happy. I know. She's loved flowers ever since she was a little girl. Maxim? No Lufia that long? Uh, I guess you could say that. I'm a little jealous. Is Maxim getting caught in a love triangle here? <laughs> this village is wonderful. I love this place already. Did you have fun? Oh, yes. Well, let's go then. Okay. Was there anything hidden in Lufia's flowers here? 
Probably not. Or a lot of them, though. And we move pretty fast, so it's fairly quick to check the whole thing. Okay. Well, there is one. It was a different colored flower there. Well, I guess there are some others like that, but it was off on its own in the corner there. The people in this village are magicians. We locked the cave door. How did you get through? Luffy opened it. Only the most skilled magician is supposed to know the spell. Luffy, eh? You're very experienced, I see. No, not really. You should meet the Elder in the Tower of Grief. If you're a magician, you can learn a lot from him. Seems like all the people in town here are really old, too. Trying to use the idea that magicians are old and wise because it's taken a lifetime of learning to be able to master the art. Welcome to my shop. Take your time and look around. Well, thousand for a battle axe? Well, I do have quite a bit of money. So I guess... Let's look. Do I already have those, maybe? But I haven't been paying attention to what I have. Yeah, he already has that. Okay, well, I'm going to save money on that, at least. Got the half mail. Got the kite shield. Got wind shoes. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to be about the same thing for him. Yeah, except I don't want to do the wind shoes for him. All right, we already got already got the glass robe. Okay. Red Beret is, I guess, a light improvement. Now, Healed Shoes. Would that be better? I don't think so. Not to the point where I'm going to... Not to the point that I'm going to get it. Yeah, get one of those for Jaren as well. Is the attack power worth it? Might be for Jaren. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. I think I'd had a pair a while ago and I sold them off before Jaren got into the party, so that is actually probably something worth getting. The inventory's full. I'm assuming this stuff isn't really worth keeping around. Mind potion, too. Okay, two intelligence. I won't worry about. 
selling the rest of that stuff off for now. Just because I did sell quite a few things and opened up inventory space there, so I think I'm fine. I guess... Well, I could head on to the next dungeon, I suppose. But this should be on my warp list now, I think. Yeah, Aris. There it is. So, I think I'm actually going to go back to the town of Grenoble and see if there's anything else for me to do in the old cave here. Since that's kind of been a thing going off and on here. For every few levels, there's been a new, new goal for me in here. Get a t new task for every five levels of experience you reach. You know... Either I wasn't paying attention before, or I don't know if he said that before. I kind of figured it out anyway, and just came back and checked often enough, but it's good to know. I found some great treasure today. How about you? What kind of shop is this anyway? What? You didn't know and still came? This shop takes treasures found in the old cave. Yeah, I see you've met the man in the Northwest Tower. That we did. Let's see, for you, a task at this level might be just right. Go to the sixth level and find the Miracle Gem. The ward is 5,000 gold pieces. Okay, it's a new one. You have a lot of nerve to take this one on. Well, good luck. I'll take the treasures found in the old cave. Oh, I see you don't have anything. Sorry, please come again. I guess we could get this one as soon as level 25, probably, then. I don't know. It says every five levels, but that's... Does that mean that eventually this place is, like, what? 15 levels deep or something? And I'm sure we'll get some different enemies down here again. Or maybe it'll just be stuff that's... Like stuff I was fighting in that last cave anyway. Maybe it'll be similar to that. Yeah, we're certainly going far down. treasure here. And yeah, of course, a lot of these are always empty. Oh, what? Well, don't... I don't think I've seen these. Let's just try physical at first and see how strong they're gonna be. Yeah, I imagine they just survived that. Okay, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that knocked him out of it. Yeah, so they don't seem... Probably any stronger than the stuff I had been facing. Had quite a bit of experience. I bomb. Yeah, I should probably port some of this stuff a little bit more again. Probably just use that grilled new. And I suppose I should use up some of the weaker ones of these so that they're not clogging up my inventory so much. Like the regular bombs or the mid arrow.
Another high bomb. Empty. Another high bomb. Axe Knight and Frogula. Frogula, I feel like I have come across. Um. Let's try Flash there. Nope, not enough. Use a bang. Eh, not great, but we've seen worse. Got a free antidote. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like we can hang in here pretty well. Radius. Usually that's like a dagger. Okay, yeah, it's a sword. Now, is it going to be cursed? Because we have come across some of that stuff in the old cave here. Well, first of all, I should just check it out and see how well it works for either one of these guys. Yeah, up to 270. That's not a great increase, or I mean, not too high, but I feel like it probably is going to be worth it. Because usually the cursed ones seem to have like a significant jump up to the point where you should realize something's up. Too good to be true. Plate cloth? Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Sound very fancy. Plate mail. Now that would be the version for the guys, probably. up on that guy and see how they do. The guys are fine on the harpies. Yep. What was this guy called? Trap harp. Kind of looks like a Venus flytrap type of thing, I suppose. Okay, this just comes over to treasure. So I guess it was right to come in this door first, or, well, not the end at least, or something. Okay, if they all go, if they all get to go first and they all have a chance to use that bang, we could be in a little bit of trouble there. Hmm. a flash with her because it's going to be better than her regular attacks probably yeah that was pretty good okay now if the guys can finish off theirs we'll just have Luffy use flash again to finish out the last one ah damn it well at least he hit that one okay that's annoying and I might... Damn. Ah. Okay. At least they finally stopped calling for help. Like, how many of them could you potentially face here? Like, 20 of them? Well, got a tower shield. 
Do I have any magic that brings somebody back to life? I don't think I do yet. What items? Okay, yeah. I do have quite a few revives. Go ahead and test out that boost. Okay, so it's like a, it is like using stronger on all four of them. So it is better than just using stronger on an individual. All right, let's at least see what these pressures are before we finish off here for today. Power Potion, Speed Potion, Bell Potion. Okay. Well, the spell is going to Maxim. And giving all the speeds to Jiren. Only one. Yeah. And power is to the one with the lowest HP, which it's not that much of a difference for now. But I guess it's going to Jiren. That'll probably put her ahead of Lufia. Yep. Let's check out that shield, too, though, here. Yeah, he's still quite a bit behind Guru on defense, so let's give it to him. Okay, before I get back to the door and we finish going through here, though, I am going to go ahead and call it there for today. But we'll pick up here next time and hopefully finish up level 6 of the old cave. And then we'll head back to Aris and go to the Tower of Grief, I guess is what it was. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the commentary playthrough so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.